Hey, what's going on everybody? How's it going? It's been a couple of weeks since we actually had a good little kill video here, so uh, I wanted to show you guys my newest character, my newest project that I've been working on. Um, yeah, it is a, a Shadow Knight. Once we get stopped here, I'll give you guys a pretty good look at him. Gives you a general idea. Um, it has been a really good time getting this guy together and ready for this. Let me just go ahead and get rid of my uh, little mount here. Let's see. Alright, so this is my level 120 Shadow Knight. I'm pretty happy with the name that I got him. I thought it would, was going to fit pretty well uh, for what Shadow Knights are in general. And this is to give you guys a pretty good, pretty good idea of what we're looking at with the stats. He has about 540,000 hit points, roughly. These are his heroic stats, with dex being the highest. A little over 4,000. Um, AC is 10,500 with a whole bunch of these assorted buffs on. We have uh, some Valium Endowed gear, which is basically the top-end raid tier of Claws of Eshin content. It's the second to most recent expansion. Uh, it's pretty much the best gear that you can get from Claws of Eshin. Um, cost me a pretty penny because obviously I didn't do any of the raiding content. So, yeah, we have our Epic 2.0. Inarook's Dark Blessing, we have that for the cool flicky effect. Yeah, uh, about 67,000 AAs roughly. With uh, 255 in the bank, we have every single AA that you can get on this Shadow Knight. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's quite a lot. We have this guy pretty much as decked out as you can possibly get without being a top end raider right now. But yeah, about 550,000, five, sorry, 540,000 hit points, over 300,000 mana, 300,000 endurance, 10,500 AC. Um, yeah, we're going to give this a good try here. Uh, obviously, I mean, it's going to be pretty easy. We're just going to be running through uh, Anguish. Uh, for those unfamiliar, this is a this is the top-end raiding zone for Omens of War. Dropped quite some time ago. But, uh... Yeah. Level 70 content, so obviously we're going to be just absolutely destroying it. <laughs> I figured this was going to be uh, you know, just a fun time, because I haven't gone through here recently anyways, so. I figured, you know what? Why not? <laughs> Obviously, our pet is going to be pretty insane by himself. All of our abilities, all of our spells and everything are just going to be kind of insane here. And it's funny, I'm kind of tempted just to let our Shadow Knight pet damage these bosses and just let him have the fun. Because at this point, this pet is pretty insane. Doesn't necessarily even need me attacking. Uh, but yeah, also for any of those asking, this is an ornamenta ornamentation set. It is the uh, Thale uh, Plate Chest Ornament set. It was pretty expensive. I think, I think personally, it's one of the best looking Hero, uh, Hero Forge ornament sets. Looks very cool in my opinion. And this shield was a prize from one of the pack openings that I did a while back. So. Let 
Nice. Um, so we're not really going to do much here. We're going to kind of let our pet go in. We're going to uh, let you guys get a general idea for how, how my pet does against this boss. <laughs> and uh, obviously my pet is just absolutely destroying this guy. This is the highest uh, highest level pet that you can really have. I don't have uh, any other perks or anything active for this. This is just straight up uh, pet versus boss here. Already got him down to 60%. Obviously we have damage shield and everything on, on him too, so that does make a bit of difference. But it is kind of funny uh, to get a perspective for <laughs> how powerful pets are, even at this level. Got him down to 28%. So my pet is occasionally hitting this boss for 20,000. And all I'm doing is just killing these ads as they're coming. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Just completely kicked his butt there. We got Mace of Tortured Nightmares, one of the best one hand blunts from the era. R Rigid Ring of Prowess. Uh, it's not too bad. It's definitely, definitely better, definitely worse. Just go ahead and grab that just so we can get the achievement for it. Yeah, there we go. Seal Mastery of All. Yeah, this is this is a really good time. I knew it was going to be kind of insane with my pet versus these bosses. I didn't expect it to be quite so good. So now I'm kind of tempted just to make this a, uh, a pet versus bosses video. <laughs> Which at this point doesn't really seem like it's going to be too difficult. Yeah, I'm, I'm really, really happy with this set. I think this looks absolutely awesome. I do need to show you guys... I want to show you guys this. this. I think that is a more of a frostbone graphic. Let's see here. Um, anyways, yeah, we're just, we gotta stop messing with these different things or else we're gonna be here all day long. Let's see. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, our pet here is 
pretty ridiculous. He has, you know, the health and such of essentially a level 115 tank. Definitely not the damage of one, but, uh... <laughs> <clears throat> it is cool because uh, anybody who's played EverQuest or played with uh, any of the pet classes pretty much know that over time the pets always get a little bit bigger, or at least that's how it always used to be. Uh, so it's, it's kind of cool to see a skeleton pet for a Shadow Knight finally be... Uh, bigger than your actual character because I'm pretty sure this pet is level 118. Yeah, 118. Oh, is he down there? Ooh. <laughs> okay, so we'll actually have to put some of our... Uh, some of our damage here. <laughs> Can't see target. Can't see target. Okay, well, let's fight him right here. <laughs> There's this other guy. There we go. That actually wasn't too bad. As far as uh, damage output. one of the more chaotic fights here anyways just because there's numerous enemies that you're supposed to kill and you're all supposed to kill them roughly around the same time otherwise they get pretty beefy and it's just not really a good time all right what did we get bow look at that and cloak of wailing woes Really, really pretty good cloak for uh, for the time, especially with the heroic dexterity. A plus five item like that's kind of insane. Because around Omens of War, you're going to be lucky if you have like over 35 heroic decks. Unless you're specifically just, you know, handicapping yourself, getting worse items with higher heroic decks. So that's uh, it's a pretty good item. Because heroic dexterity is what procs your weapon skills so all of the perks on your weapons and stuff like that for like if you're a warrior for aggro if you're a damage for the life taps or the uh, damage procs it's really important or if you're a paladin or shadow knight and you've got the rune weapon procs or it procs like runic weapon abilities and stuff like that it's pretty important that you have that Ooh, damn, she running. That's fine, just pull everything back to us we were gonna kill anyways.
<laughs> well, the good news is, is pretty much nothing here can kill my pet, so... Small benefits. The only uh, problem about actually doing this as a non-Shroud of Stealth class is the fact that uh, we actually, for the most part, either have to kill everything along the way, or we can just like run along and feign death, I guess, but too much effort. Let's just kill him. Get him, pet. Look at that. <laughs> oh, he hit my pet for like 1800. This is actually kind of insane. actually got me with uh, his wanton instruction. Oh no, whatever will we do? <laughs> I'm kind of surprised that he even lasted that long. Jesus. What did we get? Ooh. I always like that shield graphic, though. Necklace of Stability, another really good heroic dex necklace for the time. Alright, so we've killed three of the bosses so far. Next up, we're going to have uh, Warden with one of the most fun fights in the game. Totally not being sarcastic. It's just, it's simply for the fact that it is, uh, it's time-gated. So, I mean, since we're going to be doing most of it with our pet, it's not going to be that big of a deal anyways. But it is cool to have a pet here. does make me wonder uh, if my pet would really be doing any better with, like, summoned weapons, or if that's only after, like, in the lower levels. God, my pet probably does more damage than me at this point. Jesus. <laughs> of course, because we're not using a two-handed weapon, and uh, in the real in-game EverQuest... Uh, warrior, sorry, paladins and shadow knights get specific uh, two-hand weapons that no other class can use, and they're just absolutely bonkers damage. Because shadow knights and uh, paladins, of course, can only use one hand and shield or two-handed weapons. So to kind of give them that extra boost in damage, uh, they can use like better ratio weapons. All right. Get him, buddy. Two hundred 
Turn pet taunt on. It's hard to believe that a pet is putting out the amount of damage that uh, some endgame groups are putting out for Omens of War. And another one bites the dust. Another really cool shield graphic. Put him the chimera. Pretty good stuff. On to the last two enemies here. I'm really going to be curious about, uh, Overlord Matamiram here. Like, what kind of uh, fight we have to deal with here. Get him, pet. Get him. Oh, he took over. No problem. This is, this is awesome though. I know it's not like super high action or anything like that, but even just getting to see it from this perspective, this is just, it's crazy to think about the perspective difference. I mean, obviously we're not gonna put out near the damage as a rogue or a berserker or a warrior, but uh, these stats are absolutely ridiculous. I'm going to have to get you guys some really good video footage of me with some of the current in-game content, some of the like Maiden's Eye and uh, Blood Falls zones and stuff like that. I'm going to show you guys what, what we look like. 
uh, going against that content. Alright, what did he drop? Ooh, Notch Blade of Bloodletting. A really good one-handed weapon for this, uh, for this day and age. I say this day and age, but for literally for what was the current endgame content. Alright, so we're going to get you guys a video here. I might even do my uh, some of my abilities here that increase my pet. Uh, increase my pet damage and stuff like that. We're gonna see... Uh, yeah, we're gonna have some fun with this. So let's just go ahead and get this started here. Let's get us a really good video, or a really good... Actually, we can do this while we start. Alright, get him, pet. Alright, look at that insane damage here. We have him down to 75%. Still just chopping away with all of my different little companions right there. 62% now. Oh, he's still chopping away at Overlord Monomurum here. Let's get him back on our aggro table so we don't mess with something. We can actually get some different perspective here. We can see this, uh, the Pyrelians as they try to capture Overlord Madame Urim here. Oh, it actually kicked us out on time this time. Normally, we get him down to 5% and it just sits there being kind of weird for a few minutes. And then it kicks us out, but it looks like it actually kicked us out uh, pretty much on time there. Now we just get to go through the fun of running back. Aww. I think they dispelled some of my buffs here. That's okay. We have a few hundred thousand hit points to spare here. Oh really? Now you guys wanna now you guys wanna peace? I hate the targeting in this game sometimes. It always prioritizes corpses over enemies. Ooh, someone's gonna giving away some free stuff.
Come on, let me in. There we go. All right, now we gotta be quick or else he's gonna regenerate. Oh my, oh my. My pet, my poor pet. Well, it looks like we get to do this by ourselves with no pet, which is totally fine. I think we lost it whenever we zoned for some weird reason. Couple of the vest. Ooh. Two of the coins. These used to be really, really high priority back in the day for the dexterity and the 10% attack boost. It's pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff if I do say so myself. Uh, hide corpse off. All right. Got us a cool little screenshot here. Well, all right, y'all, thanks for watching. Uh, that is gonna be it for this video. I just wanted to show off the Shadow Knight a little bit. Um, in the next one, I'm probably gonna show you guys some of the actual new zones. And uh, yeah, that should be it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.